Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Season of Discovery and our Dwarf Priest. We are going to finish up a bunch of stuff in Westfall today. Uh, starting with Defias Pillagers, Defias Looters, we'll kill the Harvest Watchers, we're also going to go after the Knoll Paws. And we are going to work on collecting a bunch of red bandanas. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and choosing to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Uh, a couple of housekeeping things. I did work on tailoring a little bit. So we're up to 131 tailoring. Uh, I believe that's really all that we've done. We're 97 cooking. And I got a couple of the mats for the spider silk. I got the, the bolts of silk cloth and the spider silk. Medium leather we can get. The problem is iridescent pearls, okay? Iridescent pearls go for like a gold 50 to two gold on the auction house. Apparently we can farm those up by killing murlocs in the wetlands. And I am probably going to have to do that because I really can't afford that much gold uh, for an item. But I will be making those as soon as I can, so I'm excited to do that. Uh, it's just a matter of farming up the materials. Let's head over to the Alexton farmstead. I do have the quest for the compass. I usually forget this one. This time I grabbed it early. So we should be able to work on the pillagers, looters, and the watchers, and get the compass all in the same general area. I did put a community post up about the streams. I talked about it a little last week that, uh, you know, after capping the warrior and after getting a good start on the priest, I plan to stop streaming every day. Uh, my plan now is to stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays primarily for the raid. Uh, if we're not raiding, if we're not actively raiding on Saturdays, then I, I would probably switch the Saturday to just like a Friday regular stream. Uh, but for now, we're looking at Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And as far as why the change, you know, there, there's lots of reasons why, but a lot of it boils down to the fact that like outside of like a major release window like you know the launch of sod or like say the launch of a cataclysm or something like that outside of a big release window streaming every day uh, and i've been doing that for a while i've streamed most days uh, for the past six or seven months it's been and so I, I have data to back up the fact that you know when you stream every day after being mainly a recorded channel it hurts your metrics unless you're like in a period of a lot of hype big release window something like that when i stream every single day which i love to do i love hanging out with you guys uh, but what happens is the youtube algorithm pushes my content to less and less people the more i stream it pushes the recorded content to less and less people and the recorded content is really the bulk of the channel uh it's probably always going to remain in the bulk of the channel i really strive in the recorded stuff to create just a relaxing chill place for people to enjoy the ambience and the vibes of WoW Classic. And so that's why I'm going down to doing just three days a week. I'm hoping that will be good for the channel and uh, good for us as well. We'll still have plenty of time to hang out and chat. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I, I hope it goes well. Let me know what you guys think. I'd always love to hear from you about this. All right, so they're immune to Void Plague. That's right, they're not immune to Shadow Word Pain. So if, if I'm gonna throw a dot up, I need to be throwing up Shadow Word Pain on these guys. Now I'm hoping that we get a waylaid chest pretty early here because they made a big change 
they changed the rune that you would normally get from reaching honored you now get from reaching friendly so pretty big change there opens that rune up to a lot more people and i have this feeling after this change that over time i think a lot of the runes that are kind of a pain in the butt to get are going to be made easier to get it's kind of like it's kind of like the formula of world of warcraft you know new expansion or new content comes out Things are challenging to achieve, and if you wait, when time passes, everything everything gets easier to achieve. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's been that way for a long time. Basically, it's like if you hold off on working too hard on certain objectives, those objectives become easier, whether it's trying to get to a certain gear score, or in this case, trying to get your runes. Here we go. I, I do think that like all of it will be made easier over time. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're practically giving the 12 runes to you once the level band opens up. Because I'm assuming, and I can only assume, uh, that they are going to introduce more runes or different runes for the next phase. It would be a little bit weird if it were a season of discovery and the only time you discovered stuff was in the first level band. So I, I do foresee them continuing to make the runes easier to get. Uh, probably a lot of the ones that have multiple quests, the ones where you have to go after elites and group up, you could probably expect to see those get easier as we get closer to the second level band opening up. Uh, I'm going to go right back to Stormwind, and I'm going to turn this in because I'm pretty sure regardless of whether I fill this or not, uh, we are going to hit friendly. Let's see, we're at 2,800 out of 3,000. Yeah, this should give us 200 rep without having to fill it. Um, and yeah, I, I don't have the mats to fill it right now. We could skin up the leather, but I think we'll just go back. We'll turn it in empty. That should ding us to friendly. We'll get our rune. We'll get the gear. We'll get the 10 slot bag. And then we will come back out to make that a little bit easier. I'll set my hearthstone here. And uh, that way we can just hearth right back. I, I know it kind of kills the momentum, but I was hoping to get one of these early so we can do this. Now, right now, as I'm recording this, the only place this works is in Stormwind City. Well, and Orgrimmar, if you're on the Horde side. Uh, but right now, those are the only vendors that sell the rune at Friendly. If you were in Ironforge, you wouldn't see it at Friendly. So if you hit Friendly and you're looking for your rune, make sure you're looking in either Stormwind or Orgrimmar based on your faction. And now after we turn this one in and we hit friendly, we don't have to worry about working on any of the waylaid supplies until we're in Red Ridge and Darkshire and Wetlands. So none of the stuff that we get from Loch Modan or Westfall is going to move that reputation bar at all. And really now I don't know what the big impetus is to get to Honored. Um, I haven't hit Honored yet on any character, so I don't know what the gear that they give out is. I don't know if maybe there are crafting materials or crafting recipes that they give out. So I, I guess I'll be waiting on that to find out what else we get at Honored if we're no longer working towards the rune. I, I don't even know what rune a priest gets. I'm kind of hoping it's a healing rune for later on. Because I, I do plan to heal raids on this character. Ah, that didn't get it! <laughs> I should have filled it. Oh, that's so sad. It was considered low level. It only gave us 100 rep. It's okay. We'll find another one probably really, really quickly. What a bummer, though. Yeah, I should I should have slowed down. I should, Once I saw that it said low level, I probably should have bought some leather and filled it. All right. Not a big deal. Let's get back to it, shall we?
Uh, nothing we can do to save this guy, I don't think. We can maybe pull one of them off of him, but if we do that, we're gonna get everybody. Yeah, there was no... There was no, like, conceivable way to save him. Uh, I am gonna tag this looter here, and hope that the other one is gonna be dealt with. We could probably try to invite some people to group here. Uh, that guy does not want to be in our group. That's absolutely fine. What about Garrick here? Does Garrick want a group? He doesn't seem to mind a group. Sometimes grouping here is beneficial. Sometimes people get all strung out from each other and they get themselves into trouble thinking they have backup and they get killed. We'll see how this goes. This guy, this guy really needs help. <laughs> He's level 13, like, by all rights, he, he shouldn't really be here. Uh, he, he doesn't really want to be here doing this. Brilliant small fish. Okay, yeah, we'll do brilliant small fish. We're not going to stop everything again and do it now. It's probably going to be low level. Uh, but yeah, we'll grab that one. And we'll get that turned in really, really soon. I don't think we really need any different runes for, like, leveling up. I think I, I have the runes I want for leveling up, so... Ultimately, it doesn't matter if we head back now or not. Uh, we're, we're either going to get a healing rune or we're going to get something more, uh, more for shadow spec. Let's buff our group mates here. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. I really like that rogue shadow stuff. I'm gonna have to roll up a rogue at some point in Season of Discovery. I, I don't know how many more tombs I'm gonna really want to roll up. I, I do really want to focus on the priest. Getting the priest geared up, getting the priest into raiding, doing my rep to get my, my Ashenvale mount. Uh, I do plan to kind of focus on the priest, but I think I got at least one more character in me for the Alliance side, and it's either gonna be rogue or melee hunter, I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
the respawn rate is not cranking out this morning. Not at all. Uh, we could run over to the tents again and see if anybody has respawned over that way. I could really, I could really stand some hyper spawns right about now. Yeah, nobody over here. We do have some guys respawning over this way by the barn. Hunter buddy has some problems going on out here. Let's give him a little powered shield, make him feel comfortable. That's all we need of the Harvest Watchers. Now, I guess it's just a matter of waiting for respawns, which, you know, is the most exciting part of the game. Uh, those are Pathstalkers. We, we probably have aggro on them now. It's probably not a lot we can do now, but we, we don't really need them. Let's give them a little fear. got everybody up over this way we, we need to make our way over here really quick uh we don't we don't have group mates over here though that's the only real problem uh the only real problem is complete lack of group mates let's blow up the caster really fast let's fear these guys Okay, this is not not really going too well for us actually. Uh, we got that up, we got this up. Let's fear you. It's okay, we'll we'll kill everything ourselves.
Well, that little series of encounters managed to drain our resources more than we've like ever been drained. We're uh, we're almost oom and we're low on HP. Well, that's all the looters. Now we're really just looking for pillagers, but we're probably going to have to keep dealing with whatever pops up. Alright, we've got some respawn over by the shed. Uh, two casters. Kind of hesitant to take that on on my own, but we'll see how it goes. We have group mates somewhere. Oh, we're not doing bad. We only need one more.
And that is everything we need. Let's finish up these guys, and then we will take this back to town. We still need the bandanas, but we'll have one more kill quest for Defias that we'll be able to get it from. Yep, there we go. Let's say thank you to our group. And let's drop. I might try to come down here for Noel Pauls. I think that these guys down to the south are a little bit of a higher level. But I'm kind of thinking that maybe they won't be as farmed out for that reason. And we are level 19. So if the mobs down here are 16, 17, 18, and uh, that we can farm them without a lot of competition, that could be worth it. It could be worth it. So yeah, it's a little bit of a higher level, but let's go down here and let's let's work on the Null Paws, then we'll work on killing the rest of the Defias guys. Uh, after that, we do have a quest to fly to Red Ridge, talk to Wily if we want to continue with the Defias chain that'll lead us into the Dead Mines quest. So at some point, we'll get that done as well. I'm kind of counting on the fact that when I'm ready to do dead, dead mines as a healer, it'll probably be pretty easy to find a group. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that as heals, I'll be able to put myself out there in general or in looking for group and someone will uh, swipe me up and we can get the run done. I, I do want to have all of the quests, though. I, I believe we get a really good staff off of the the quest that gives a blue. Alright, yeah, see, these guys are level 17, but I feel like not as many people fight them because of that. So we're going to work on some of these guys, and we'll see how our kill rate is and how things go. Uh, we do have a talent point, because, you know, I'm really good at spending my talent points on time. This one is going to finish up Wand Specialization. After this, we're going to go three points in Power Word Shield, and then I think two points in Fortitude. I don't want to be the victim of a critical strike ever, um, and I don't want to reduce threat. Yeah, we'll go here and here for the next tier.
One of our minis went ahead and aggroed this guy for us. Awesome. This is interesting, I've, I've never fought these guys down here because they've always been a higher level than me when I was doing this quest. Uh, but with our revised leveling path, this has been, uh, this has been good. Uh, these guys just, uh, like, it feels like they just murdered somebody over here and ran back. It's a little bit intimidating. the healing wave. So bad for us. Here it comes again. I wonder if I should be saving penance to like DPS him down during the healing wave. Don't really think I want to mess with any of this stuff. It's it's way too dense. And granted, if we die, it's not really a big deal, but I'd rather just avoid the inconvenience of having to do the spirit run. Ah, uh, that resisted. That's like the first time I've noticed anybody resist our Void Plague. That was bad. Uh, it turns out, guys, uh, just like the cape, that we've gone to level 19 without equipping a single pair of bracers. So there we go. There's some stats for us. Hooray.
All right, we're looking for one more paw. Another resist. And that's it. That's the last one we need. Let's head right over here a little bit and we'll start working on the highwaymen, path stalkers, and knuckle dusters. Uh, if we're really lucky, we will find some people to group with. That would be ideal. Now, I don't know if we pull this together. Maybe we can. Maybe it's possible. Oh, he sheeped one. That was really, really smart. I, I appreciate that. Now, unfortunately, I, I don't have the hops I need for this guy down here. That is a little bit sad. We're so far ahead of the leveling curve that it, it probably wouldn't even matter if we didn't do that quest. Um, 
we'll see. Um, we have lighthouse stuff to do, so maybe when we do the lighthouse stuff, that would be a good time to come back, farm up the hops, and uh, turn it into that guy for the alcohol we need for dry times, which is a quest we'll get from Red Ridge. we've actually managed to run ourselves out of mana. That doesn't happen very often. I'm going to sit on our regen and we'll get some of that back. The problem is we're not getting the killing blow on these guys 100% of the time. That's why we're not proccing spirit tap every time and why we are out of mana. I do see the horde player. We're gonna we're gonna leave him alone. He could probably obliterate us uh, at this level. He's a mage, so I, I really don't want to mess with him having six levels on us. Uh, that being said, the camps over here have been cleared. We need five more highwaymen, one path stalker, two knuckle dusters. Let's go peek around the corner of the mountains here really quick and see. Oh man, everything here is dead. I, I say the respawns, you know, I always say this, I feel like the respawns are not fast enough. When the game is this busy and this many people are playing consecutively, when every layer is packed, the respawns could be a little bit higher. There aren't a lot of stakes, so even if someone were to get killed, uh, you know, because of hyper spawns, it's not really a big deal on this game mode. It's only really a big deal in hardcore, and they have hyper spawns in hardcore anyway. Uh, this might be every no we need a few more highwaymen a few more highwaymen
Oh, our group mate has abandoned us. <laughs> that would have been nice to know before I uh, did this pull. I don't really think we can handle this on our own exactly. Uh, I, I, I didn't realize that we were no longer part of a group. That's always fun. Somehow we've managed not to die. And we got all of our bandanas. What do we need? We need two more highwaymen. There we go, we did it. No death necessary. Let's get ourselves back to Sentinel Hill and we'll turn these in. I, I think when these are turned in, we are probably going to have to make our way over to Lock Madan. We have level 15 Skull Thumpers and Seers. Uh, what else do we have going on over that way? We have all of the Hunter Lodge stuff to do still. Crocolis Hunting, uh, Hunter's Boast. Excavation site, we have Bingles missing supplies yet. We have the entire eastern half to do. Plenty of experience to get over in Lock Madan. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the leveling arc on this character. I think like going to Teldrassil really early was was game changing. Fundamentally kind of reshaped how I felt about the leveling process. It has kept us doing green quest for quite some time. You know, we could have been, we could have even like forestalled working on a couple of these and came back when they were green. Uh, but it's been really good. I, I think in the future, especially when we're not talking about hardcore, I am going to be taking my characters through all three of the starting areas Lock Modan, Elwyn, and Teldrassil. It, there's so much experience to gain, and it just puts you in such a good spot for your leveling progress. It's like, it's like you have to do it. Now that I know it's a thing we can do, I, I'm probably going to have to do it every time. basically a night and day difference from this character to the warrior's progress where like we're going to hit level 20 on this character and we're not going to have stepped foot into red ridge we're not going to have stepped foot into duskwood yet uh it's it's a totally different feel Let's vendor everything we don't need. We'll keep the oil. That'll be a lighthouse turn in. Alright, and with that, I am going to put us on a flight to take us back to Lock Modan. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate all of the continued support on this character. I am having a really good time on the Priest. So far, my favorite character in Sod. So, thank you guys for being here for it. 
And as always, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.